we're making French toast sticks. I think the best bread that you can do for French toast sticks is some kind of an egg bread. Uh, I tried to find brioche in the store yesterday, but they didn't have any. Um, but they have these beautiful house-made chalas. So that's an egg bread. And um, we'll just have to cut away some of the lumps just to make them into our sticks. What I've done is I've made them about an inch wide by maybe an inch and a half this way and about four inches long. So I will demonstrate how to do that with a lumpy bread. We're going to take and just square off the top a little bit. We're not wasting these. We're sending them home with our photographer. He's going to feed them to the pigs and the chickens. One inch slices this way. Okay. And then just cut them in half. And there you have your French toast sticks. Now what we need to do is just make the a custard wash that's going to go over these and soak into the bread, which makes it French toast. So we have four large eggs that we're going to beat. We've got a half a cup of cream. We could use half and half. We could use milk. And then a teaspoon. Let's put in two teaspoons. So we want this to be rich. Of vanilla. Mix it good because we're going to pour. So you want it to be a cohesive mixture. I'm just going to pour this over. French bread. We're going to turn them. So really what we're trying to do is just get the bottom here. And if you don't like the crust, it's okay. Cut the crust off. I just happen to like the crust. I know that some kids are kind of picky about crust. They don't care for it too much. I know my dad likes to have his crust cut off his sandwiches. And my mother, who spoils him, does it. Okay, now let's just flip them. If something like that happens, don't worry about it. Keep it for yourself. Let it be the cook's treat. Essentially, we want this, all of this egg mixture to be soaked up by the bread before we start cooking it. And it's just the right amount of an egg mixture for 16 slices of bread this shape. So now we're checking sides, everything. One more little flip. I prefer to use a tray like this because you can do them all at once as opposed to dunking them into a little bowl. I find that a little clunky. And this sort of distributes everything evenly. All sides are coated trusty electric fry pan here, set to 350. I'm going to take some butter, that's what I really prefer to fry my French toast in. Don't crowd because then it'll steam. So if you have a smaller pan that you're using, do three batches or four batches if you have to, but don't crowd them. I'm going to put them on the non-crust side to just brown a little bit on that side too. It's a little reluctant to use the tongs at first because the bread is so soggy and delicate, but now that it's cooking, it's much firmer and so you can use the tongs.
I've got a mixture of cinnamon and sugar here. You can either buy it or you can mix it yourself, say a quarter of a cup of sugar and a couple of teaspoons of cinnamon. Mix that together and then just sprinkle over the cup. You can put jam on these, you can put syrup, you could get chocolate syrup, dunk them in that and eat them. But these are delicious French toast sticks. Enjoy! Leave us a comment below and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching. Watch our breakfast playlist.